I used to play Fortnite for hours every single day, grinding my mechanics and even watching pros. But for some reason, I still suck, even after all of my effort. The tips I'm going to give you guys in this video will explain how I became insane at Fortnite and how you can too. Even if you're a pretty decent player, this video will allow you to take your performance to the next level. But before we get into the video, it would help me out a lot if you guys could take two seconds of your time to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Let's not waste any more time and get straight into the video, starting off with the first reason, which is inconsistent practice. Consistency is key when it comes to improving at Fortnite. Irregular practice or infrequent gameplay can hinder progress. Regular practice allows you to build muscle memory, develop strategies, and improve decision-making skills. Aim for consistent practice sessions to see more significant improvements. Now, the reason why you may suck at Fortnite is simply a lack of experience. Fortnite is a complex game with a steep learning curve. It takes time to develop the necessary skills and understanding of the game mechanics. If you're relatively new to the game or haven't dedicated much time to it, it's natural to struggle initially. Don't become frustrated and remember to keep practicing. With a lack of experience comes limited knowledge. Understanding the game's mechanics, strategies, and game meta can greatly impact your performance. If you lack knowledge about the game's mechanics, optimal strategies, or effective building techniques, it can put you at a disadvantage. Invest time in studying tutorials and watching experienced players to expand your knowledge. Another big reason why players still suck is their mindset and mental state. Your mental state can play a significant role in your performance. If you find yourself feeling frustrated, impatient, or stressed while playing, it can affect your decision making, reaction time, and overall gameplay. It's important to maintain a positive mindset and focus on the learning process rather than solely on winning. The next reason why you still suck at Fortnite is lack of adaptability. Fortnite is an ever-evolving game. With new updates, patches, and changes introduced regularly, being adaptable and open to new learning strategies and techniques is crucial. If you stick to outdated approaches or fail to adapt to new gameplay, you may struggle to keep up with the evolving meta. Simply not keeping up with the new mechanics in the game can be a big reason you still suck. But if you're doing all of these things right, the reason you might suck could be that you're playing with the wrong settings. Optimizing your in-game settings such as mouse sensitivity, keybinds, and display settings can have a significant impact on your performance. Make sure to experiment with different settings to find what feels comfortable and allows you to perform at your best. I know players who first started playing Fortnite with binds that are absolutely horrible, and it causes them to not progress any further in the game. If you make sure you're playing with optimal binds, it will close the competition and skill gap. Fortnite has a large player base and the competition can be intense. It's possible that you may be facing opponents who have been playing for a long time or are more experienced. Remember that improvement takes time and comparing yourself to others can be demotivating. Focus on your own progress and set achievable goals. Remember, being skilled at Fortnite or any competitive game requires patience, perseverance, and a growth mindset. Keep practicing and learning from your mistakes and seeking opportunities to improve. With time and dedication, you can progress and enhance your game playabilities. Another big tip is to make sure you're practicing the right mechanics. There are plenty of practice maps in Fortnite which allow you to isolate and practice each individual mechanic. Here are a few of the best maps you can use. These maps allow you to drastically improve on your aim, crosshair placement, editing, and piece control. Make sure these maps are the first thing that you're playing when you get on Fortnite to warm up. Simple things like pushing yourself in warm ups and grinding these maps will really improve your mechanics and allow you to dominate your opponents. Consistency is really key when it comes down to winning, but you have to make sure that you're pushing yourself to be the best you can. Watching and going against players who are better than you is another way you can improve a lot. If you keep playing against players who suck, you're gonna suck too. If you start playing with players who are better than you, they will punish you for your mistakes and teach you what you're doing wrong. This will allow for you to adapt your gameplay and become even better at Fortnite. Watching pros is another really good way to learn. Pro players rarely make mistakes, and you can learn what they are doing that you are not. A lot of the times, they know little tricks in the game that you can learn just by watching them. So I really hope that this video helps you out and increases your progression in Fortnite. Keep grinding and using these tips to help you improve as a player. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.